How's it going, everyone? Now, I know what you're thinking. You see the title, you see the thumbnail. You're thinking, Ark Warlock? How is this man going to make Ark Warlock any good? Well, let me tell you. This build, with this exotic that I'm using, actually makes Ark Warlock a pretty viable option. And that, of course, is Felwinter's Helm, which states getting powered melee kills, disorients, and weakens targets. Now, it's actually a pretty big debuff. It's 30%, which is the same as Tractor Cannon. And it also disorients targets. Like, if you were to shield bash from Void Titan, if you were to shield bash an enemy and suppress them, they just kind of walk around and can't do anything. That's basically what Felwinter's Helm does before Warlock. So all you got to do is get a finisher, and everything around you is going to be disoriented and debuffed. For everyone on your team. There's also another secret to this build. The debuff from Felwinter's Helm actually works with Repulsor Brace, so it's a great way to get a little bump of survivability. For the actual build itself, you can use whatever you want for your Super, Chaos, Reach, Storm Trance, either one. Rift doesn't matter, Jump doesn't matter, whatever you want. I use Chain Lightning because of the shorter cooldown, and then Pulse Grenade because it's the new best arc grenade in the game in my opinion. For our Aspects, uh, you're going to want to use Electrostatic Mind and Lightning Surge. Electrostatic Mind helps you get Ionic Traces when you defeat Jolted or Blinded targets, which make you amplify when you pick them up. And then Lightning Surge is very good because this one causes you to blink forward and jolt targets. It's a really good melee, does a lot of damage. For our fragments, you can use Spark of Amplitude, which generates a lot of orbs of power when you get rapid kills while amplified. Our next fragment, Finishers Make Amplified. We're going to be finishing a lot, all the time. Because we're going to be finishing all the time, we're going to be close to enemies, which, you know, means we're going to want to use Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. You also get an, an extra 10 strength, which is nice. And then Spark of Ions is our last one. Defeating a Jolted target creates an Ionic Trace. For the actual exotic itself, like I said earlier, you're going to want to use Felwinter's Helm. It gives you a massive 30 percent debuff we can debuff to enemies nearby after you get a powered melee kill or finisher it's very very good it also disorients enemies and then for your weapons like i said you can use a re repulsor brace weapon because the debuff from our film winter's helm is actually going to allow you to get overshield when you get a kill with a repulsor brace weapon for our artifact you can use volatile flow uh, picking up an aura power grants your void weapons volatile rounds so it's just a little something nice to have until the artifact changes and then for the actual mods themselves on your helmet you can use hands-on ashes to assets either one is good Hands-on probably is the best one because we're going to be meleeing all the time. On the gloves, heavy-handed and two momentum transfers. On the chest piece, any resist mods you want. I have double sniper damage resist because fuck snipers. And for our legs, I got double invigoration and a kinetic weapon surge for my Monte Carlo. And our bond, I got healthy finisher and double outreach. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.